I don't think he's gonna shut up. <laughs> Let's just do it without, without it. My name is Charles Kindle. I've been a martial artist for 40 some odd years. I don't even remember. I don't care. I've um, been training in many different martial arts. In fact, pretty much most of them. And I've created and reassembled what I believe is more traditional Shaolin technique uh, and aspects rather than the modern version, which has a lot of uh, adaptations, Greek elements that are not necessarily true or um, valid once you get past the basics of martial training. And the first martial training element in most martial arts that is highly overlooked, and it is in almost every martial art that I have studied, and that is Zheng Zhuang, horse stance or standing training. Just training the stance. And most people of martial wisdom already know, no, 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 this is the most important thing you can ever learn. After 10, 20 years of, of training, some people get welcomed into the closed door system of martial arts, which is uh, usually the, um, <clears throat> the first thing a real teacher would do to you is, is test out your, uh, your internal structure. Who are you as a person? Uh, I'm not going to show you things I know if I don't trust you, if I don't have uh, faith that you will promote values of uh, peace. And so it cannot teach you some of these closed door secrets. And so you want to practice stillness as much as possible. If you're going to get any, any prayer of taking me out in a fight. <laughs> and my methodology is I teach you to fight me. I don't teach you to fight Bruce Lee because, you know, fighting somebody's Jeet Kune Do or Bruce Lee's interpretation of it when he was 30 doesn't really matter because what would he be talking about today? He'd be part of the closed door system there. And there is a unique group of people who practice behind the closed door. They're all very nice, friendly people. But most of them have stood still for a lot longer than I've been talking. And when you put your hands on somebody like that, you can feel it. You know, Americans, they feel chi for the first time and they're like, what the heck was that? Oh, real internal power. Hmm, never felt that before? Yeah, I've been practicing for, uh, I don't know, seven years. Uh, I don't know anything about martial arts, but that's internal power. Now me, I come at the internal arts at the end of my life. Thank God I can sport, uh, spare you the details. But the most important aspect is standing still. Once you've practiced that in Shaolin for nine months, Oh, if you come in, you pay your dues by standing. Show me your standing horse. Nine months. Come back. Do it again tomorrow. Do it again tomorrow. Do it again tomorrow. <laughs> when are we going to learn how to punch? Ah, good thing you asked, Anasan. Today, Yagi teach how punch. First, Turn the qua all the way to the left until you feel oh hard to turn. Mm, like in your ankles, in your knees, in your hands, in your shoulder. Oh. Okay, now see how far away it is? You want to have it aimed at your opponent, elbow at your opponent, hand in a fist. That's curl your fingers. Curl your thumb on top of your fingers. Rear hand. OK, 
and be a fist here. If something comes against you and kicks you, that knuckle could break their foot. So if you can point that knuckle at the attack and use it to protect yourself, you can use that to, to counter a technique coming to your head. But on the face, you don't want to tuck your, your thumb because that hurts. So here with gloves on or bare knuckle even, but you don't want to do this. And that's because you cut the air. So if you're gonna open your hand, you have to turn it away. So it's the back of your hand to the ear. And then the front hand is in the, the front block here. So it's, it's doing something to the basics, right? We're talking about very, very basics. So the first technique is inward block, jab, right? Inward block, jab. So, wham, bam. Now in the form, in the first traditional form, uh, second, second system form, but first traditional form, it was inward parry, outward punch. So inward parry, outward punch. So you're breaking something down and striking it around the corner. In every Okinawa Te block strike, there was a hidden block and strike. In everything, there was something hidden. Everything. Because there was ev always something hidden behind another door and another door. So you're always blocking and striking. So this one is inward block, inward block, strike, inward block, strike. Or outward block, inward strike. Outward block. So maybe somebody's coming over here with something like a jab. And instead of them hitting you with their left jab, you're going to do a up, maybe an upward block, whoop, right? And an inward strike to their whoop. So you break down the elbow that's coming here like Wing Chun, and then that's the first punch that you're taught, you know, Kinawa Te, traditionally. It, well, the first one being the one on the ground, but the second one is this. Break and then strike. So you're constantly doing two things at least, at least. So in every part of the form. So it's not just punch and then rising block if you were taught that punch it's it's a combination of maybe you have to punch first and then block or maybe that is the block and that's the punch somehow like maybe it's like a throw Whoop. so I, I reach in I get my posture and then whoop, I toss the guy right? so at that point it's not a not a basic so so Block strike, block strike, block strike, block strike. That's the hardest one is this inverted posture, right? This one's okay, usually. Most people can do this, but this one, not so easy. So push your chi here around this arc push really hard, open up the shoulder and the elbow, and then bring it back and make sure it's completely lubricated all the way through. So this is one of the hardest moves that most people, they see in the form and they're like, oh, well, yeah, I, that's hiding all of the jujitsu, right? So like these are secret throws, like that's the counter to, to a counter, Never mind. Okay, so, so you have this first basic. So one, block with the, the hand on the head, but no, this is a bad idea, but this is okay. So 
So jab, and then block jab, block jab, block jab, block jab. Now there's six gates, roughly. Nine gates, some people say, but you know, so you, you develop them with the standard oval shape, you know, the, the oval shape. See, I snuck it on here. So you're constantly doing the Qigong this way and constantly doing it this way. One. And you want to be cross here. You don't want to be open. See, you, you want to close off that center line. So they're like, wait, where's the center? There is no such thing as center line, boy. You didn't learn the right words. Oh, you didn't go past the closed door system. Anyway, I'm Charles. And that's all I got for you today. I gotta go. Hit the jacuzzi.